We go to court clopping in the Storm Tracker Weather Center with what you need to know heading out the door. Yeah, Linda, and as you're getting ready to take on the day, you're going to want to keep in mind that temperatures are on the rise in your Thursday forecast, and we're going to continue to heat up through Saturday. We also have north winds returning over the next couple of days, and that's going to result in elevated fire danger across our region. In fact, we already have a fire weather watch that's been issued for the valley and foothills from 8 a.m. Friday through 11 a.m. Saturday, and the reason for this is gusty north winds, lower humidity, and hotter temperatures all combined to result in high fire danger over dry fuel. So that's the biggest ingredient in this recipe of high fire danger is the dry fuels across our region. And you can see that's what we're expecting to see gusty north winds, low humidity, hotter temperatures over those dry fuels. As far as what's going on today, temperatures starting out in the 60s for most valley and foothill areas right now, but we're likely to see a few cities in the 50s before it's all said and done. 30s to 50s in our mountain zones. Wind not very strong, mostly out of the northeast this morning. As we head into your afternoon, it's mostly north winds in the valley, west winds around the Dixie Fire, so that's going to push most of the fire activity to the eastern zone. And same with areas of the Monument and McFarland fires. Wind is mostly heading west to east later on today. Tomorrow Tomorrow, early to midday, winds really picking up out of the north, and you can see gusts in the valley up to around 30, maybe 35 miles an hour. While winds are not quite as strong in our higher elevations, so the bigger concern for tomorrow with the wind is in our lower elevations. High pressure building into the west coast was what's driving our forecast right now. That and the exit of that low pressure that brought the cooler temperatures and those pleasant south winds to our region. So what's happening is these two areas are interacting. We're seeing gusty north winds developing, and that high pressure is really drying us out and heating us up as that gets closer to the coast. Getting a look at today's forecast, temperatures this afternoon ending up in the 80s to low 90s in the northern mountains. If you're in the Sierra or Southern Cascades, it's 70s to mid 80s this afternoon. Foothill areas in the 80s for your Thursday afternoon forecast, upper 80s in Paradise. And if you're in the Valley, mid 90s for most of us today. Winds out of the northeast or northwest up to 10 miles an hour, mostly sunny, and it's going to be hazy. Air quality is taking a bit of an impact today as we see the shift in the winds. That's going to cause more of that wildfire smoke to get diverted into the valley. Now temperatures in your storm tracker seven day forecast where your weekends always in view heating up into this weekend up to 102 degrees both Saturday and Sunday in Chico Redding triple digit heat returning Friday up to 104 Saturday 103 Sunday and then Linda we have a nice cool down settling us back into the lower to mid 90s for the middle of next week.